Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with theblogtree.com. This is one of my favorite watches I'm wearing right now. This is the Bremont Supermarine 500 in black on the steel bracelet. Gorgeous, gorgeous watch. Love this thing. I'm very happy to be sharing this with you and you should definitely like it too. This is a retro style dive watch. It's water resistant to 500 meters. It's 43 millimeters wide in a steel case and it is solid and it's heavy and it's chunky and I love it. Um, you can see here on the side of this fascinating black sort of inner ring, part of Bremont's typical uh, triptych um, cased construction for durability. That right there is an automatic helium escape valve. The crown has sort of very interesting design. It's placed at um, 2 o'clock there and there's a sort of swoopy looking crown guard. The Supermarine is based on a uh, plane called the Supermarine, which was a plane that would take off from water. Bremont is an aviation themed brand, so it makes sense for them to, if they're making a diver's watch, to have it on a seaplane. And you can see there's sort of this engraving of the plane um, on the back there, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I don't even know where to start because this watch is a very, very satisfying timepiece. People might get angry at me for saying this, but I feel like from a DNA perspective, it feels like a combination between a Rolex um, Submariner and an Omega Planet Ocean. The, the Planet Ocean component comes a lot from the dial and the crystal. There's a slightly domed sapphire crystal, which is extremely clear, basically no distortion, excellent use of AR coding. It is a very clear dial. I mean, it is amazing how wonderful it is. And I see things like that very much on the Omega. And the hands a little bit in terms of the, the boldness of the hands feels thematically like um, the Planet Ocean. Now, I'm not trying to say that Bramont copied the Planet Ocean, not at all. It's just that the Planet Ocean is such a popular piece, more people are going to be familiar with it than this one, so it gives them something to relate to. The dial is textured a little bit like some of the running boards, I think, on the plane. The indicators um, are very dive watch style, large. The luminant is excellent. It's really, really good luminant. The bezel, the rotating bezel, has a very nice action to it and it's actually covered with a sapphire crystal um, in a similar type of way to how Blanc Pond does it um, with their 50 th fathoms watch. Design of the case is very elegant. You have these um, types of lugs that Bramon has. These are sort of signature ones. Bracelet is nice. Um, I would have liked the bracelet to have a couple of bit, a couple of more sizing options. There are only two micro adjust holes right here. I would have liked for them to be a little bit more. The bracelet, if you get one on a bracelet, I caution you to probably have a professional size it. Um, I know how to do it, but it's kind of a pain in the ass for certain people to size it because it, they're screwed in um, uh, pins, but the screw bars have screws on both ends. So you have to have screwdrivers at both sides of it, which makes it kind of a pain. Um, but once you get sized, it, it's fine. Um, the rubber uh, strap that's available on is also beautiful and it matches this sort of vertical line texturing as there is um, on the inner part of the dial. Very good looking watch like I said, durable, style, um, just has a lot of things that, that you'd want. Movement is a slightly modified ETA 2836. It's been chronometer regulated. It has the day and date complication right there. Um, Th this movement you can find in a lot of different types of watches, but in the higher sort of end uh, pieces, it's a, it's a very good movement. There's a lot of sort of upgrades on it. Um, apparently inside of here there's a Bremont um, sort of skeletonized and engraved rotor, but since there isn't a sapphire case back, I'm not going to pop open the back of the case. You, can't, you generally never want to open up cases of watches unless you have to. It's just sort of a rule because you want to preserve water resistance. Again, this is the Bremont Supermarine 500. This is the version with a black dial with a black bezel. Prices for this are in the $5,500 range. And um, I believe that this is going to be sort of a star timepiece for the up and, this up and coming brand. Um, read more information, read the full review at a blog to read.com. Thanks.